How's it going guys? So today I've decided to start making a little update slash vlog series where basically I just go out on my bike, strap the GoPro on, and I just, I don't know, talk I guess. I don't know, I'm not really familiar about doing all these things, but right now we're going up the street to a gas station and it's kind of like 8 o'clock at night so it's getting dark. So I'm also kind of testing the low light ability on the GoPro. So basically, I'm just going to be talking and talking and talking. But uh, yeah, pretty much what's been happening lately is I have school and stuff, so I haven't been able to do a lot of videos lately. Along with the fact that it's winter, which kind of really puts a downfall on like everything. So I couldn't really do a lot of videos for the past couple of months. So I apologize to everybody who's been looking forward to those. Another thing that kind of stumped me was that I got a job at Crank's Bike Park. And what really stumped me about that is that we are getting a new roof, which is absolutely great. Like, so amazing how we're getting a new roof. But the issue is, is that now they covered the skylights, so it's very like dark and dim in there. So I can't really film in there anymore. That really put a downfall on the filming this winter. So I won't be filming in there very much often. But on the plus side, it's getting nicer out. I could probably do videos like this where I just go talk and talk and talk. About to go up the hill. Actually, let's see if I can hit this little tranny. Cased. I have a lot of upcoming plans for the future, such as making a lot of stickers. Tons of sticker designs, but right now I'm not financially ready to start mass producing those stickers to sell to you guys. But once I start getting into the process of that, basically what's going to happen is that I'm going to have a couple test runs of stickers and I have a few designs out right now. And they're all lurking on some people's bikes because I had a few test batches. And let me tell you what, it's very hard to find a sticker company that's quite solid and has like decently quality stickers and like I know stickers aren't that much of a thing but I mean it's hard to find a good sticker company out there that has like good prices all that stuff and uh, I have to turn to the left right now so basically um, the whole sticker thing is that I need to find a company that's really low on prices and has and that can do like glossy stickers and stuff because I've made a batch process of some small little ones like not small little ones but like a small batch of them which kind of came out good like the sticker size and everything was perfect but the actual sticker company they uh, don't have like glossy stickers and they're kind of like really thick and vinyl-y and stuff and they weren't really clear. So a few people has those stickers and uh, soon I'm gonna find a new sticker company that's kind of more mainstream and kind of has more of a BMX sticker design type idea where the sticker's glossy and very clear and not so bulletproof. It's just a regular old sticker. I like to call this the uh, lover's lane. This is where I usually bring all my friends and we don't kiss, but we take romantic strolls down here. That's right. A lot of you guys might not know this, but I'm only 16 and I just turned 16, like not too long ago. So in New York, you can drive and have your license and everything about six months after you turn 16. And uh, right now it's been like a couple of months since I turned 16, so I can't really get a license yet. Nor do I have a car to even drive anywhere yet. But I have my eyes on a few cars and hopefully by the end of this spring or winter, whatever, when it starts getting really nice out, that's when I'm gonna really start looking to get a car and stuff. Then I'll start making road trips everywhere and what so, what not. Wow guys, look at the sunset. Just look at the sunset. The sunset's pretty. Look at the sunset. Wow, we're going AWOL at this hill right now. You guys probably can't even see anything anymore, but let me tell you what, right now this hill is crazy and my ears are freezing. We might just die, guys. 
No, I'm just kidding. I brought my crappy shoes to destroy it. And rub on the ground like that. Wow, that's actually a really, really pretty sky. That's like a perfect gradient too. <laughs> Let me tell you guys what. Okay, so this one time, this one time I went bombing down this hill and right here it leads into a swamp. And I went bombing down that hill in the middle of the night with my friend Darian Crossman. And if he's watching this right now, he's probably gonna laugh. But I went balls deep in that pile of swampy stuff and it was not a good time. I didn't even see the turn. I thought I was turning well enough, but nope. I was too street for it and I just went AWOL into it. So that kind of blew. Shout out to Kevin Patrick, he has switch bars on lock. Like stupid nice. He learned bars. Well, he's really goofy footed. So his bars right now are thrown to the wrong foot, if you guys know what I'm saying. And uh, I guess like his switch bars are technically the right way of what he should do. But it's also technically he should have his feet the other way swapped around. And that'll make everything normal for him. But other than that, he just learned switch bars and they're so nice. So shout out to him. His Instagram will be somewhere on this video. And uh, another thing with him, we're planning on filming a how to bar video soon. So basically, we've been waiting to have a free schedule to film a how to bar for a while. And it's either I'm working or he's working and we can never find like a perfect day to do it. And we were originally going to do it in cranks, but now we really can't. So now we have to also wait for the weather to be nicer and for a really good day to do it where we're both not working, which is gonna be never because we both work at the same place. Save my cranksman today. They do. Oh, God, that was hideous. Got a mulligan on that. Nope, about to get kicked out. All right, we're leaving. Yeah, I know. Street mission. So, <clears throat> I just had to. Uh, we went to the gas station to buy my girlfriend a couple of candy bars to go with her uh, little gift I'm giving her for uh, a prompt proposal thing, prompt proposal, whatever it's called. So recently I just hit 4,000 subscribers and I find that absolutely nuts because I just remember when I was at 2,000 like a month ago making crazy, 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 ooh, 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 we have to stop here, making crazy amounts of progress right now throughout the subscriber base. and. So stoked on it, guys. So thank you guys for subscribing and stuff. I don't know why I came here. I had to be killing myself for that bar spin. Ow. All right, guys, it's dark out. I don't have any pads on. All right, you know what? We can't do that any cleaner. Wow, I just realized I'm not even wearing my shoulder brace. Good thing I didn't fall on that. As I was saying, I can't believe I hit 4,000 subscribers, and right now I'm almost at 5,000, which is bonkers. I think I just hit 4,000 like a couple days ago, and now I'm, now I'm at like 4,500. So we're making good progress, guys. So for all those new subscribers out there, you guys are just in the loop. Because right now, this is going to be my first vlog type style video. And right now, it's probably going to be like a 15 minute long video, I'm imagine, of me just talking. So if you guys stick through it, I literally congratulate you. I'm planning on doing a bike check soon. And I'm unbelievably stoked about it because I've gotten pretty much every part changed since my last one. Except for the sprocket and front wheel. Well, no, front hub. So yeah, it's gonna be a completely new bike basically except for the frame, sprocket, and new hub. So I cannot wait to make that because you guys are gonna be stoked on it too. I already know it. So right now I'm heading back home on a 
Tuesday night. I didn't have work today, thankfully. And right when I get home, I have to put some finishing touches on the prom puzzle thing. And after that, I have tons of trig homework to do. And I have tons of English homework. All that fun stuff. Can't wait to do that. I just figured I'd get out and ride my bike a little bit. Test out the little light setting on the GoPro. I'm not even sure what you guys can see right now. It's probably pitch black for you guys. And it's probably really awkward. But I can see, and that's the most important part about this, because if I can't see that, I'm going to die. This car pulling out right now, of course, when I'm trying to go. So he's going to have to wait, because I go first always. Nope, of course he just goes AWOL. Early bird gets the worm. The next video I'd like to film would be a how to fakey, but right now I don't know how that's going to go down because I was going to originally film it at Cranks. Oh my god, look at that car. But I was originally going to film it at Cranks, but now I can't film it at Cranks, so I don't know where I'm going to film it. Can't film it pretty much anywhere else but home, and home is boring on videos. <sighs> the struggle, guys, the struggle. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a killer video at home. Probably stay updated with Snapchat if you guys don't have me. It's at Ryan Needle 123. Go follow me on Twitter too. At Ryan Needle. Instagram, Ryan Needle 123. All that fun stuff. I'm probably gonna show you guys the the little setup I have for the promposal. Because my girlfriend doesn't even know about it yet. I'm home now. I can... Oh sorry. It's cold one. It's a knock life for us. Yo, look at me. So, I'm just going to show you guys this prom proposal thing I have to set up. And inside the little prom things, there's a gift card to some of our favorite stores. So, yeah, goals, guys, goals. I'm just kidding. Oh, so cold out. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment below, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. No. No, it doesn't work. Okay. Sorry, guys. Bye.